Today, my husband's gonna give me the names of famous logos and I'm gonna draw them from memory. It's been a while. Logo numero uno, Clorox. I feel as if it is blue and that's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like cursive, a dark blue. Do you yeah. think you could have got this from memory? Probably. I feel like you're not as familiar with cleaning products. Because I don't clean. It's possible I'm thinking of Lysol. We're gonna say that's my final answer. Oh, okay, I got the blue right. That's, I did really bad. I'm definitely thinking of Lysol. You were very wrong, but I liked your, um, <laughs> I liked the one you did, so. Well, thank you. Yeah. Liquid IV. Okay, the bag is like a blue. Lowercase. What if it was called Liquid 4 and no one knew it? Oh. It's Roman numerals. We're gonna pretend there's some diamond shape in there, and that could be my brain subconsciously just remembering the Clorox logo. <laughs> I'm gonna go with this. <laughs> oh. There is a diamond shape, though. Yours looks like the logo before they got the funding. It's another fail. <laughs> Rest. And my mind is immediately going to Colgate with those, like, three colors. But you know it's not Colgate, so don't go there. Is it blue? Kind of like almost bubble letters, but a little more professional than that. Am I even remotely on the right track? I mean, the letters are right. The word crest. <laughs> I'm just going to make something up. Let's put a little happy tooth on here. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> I literally cannot think of what it is. It is blue. Okay. Cap cut. So I'm going to draw an app icon, which famously is a square. And then... I'm going to draw the actual logo, which I think <laughs> it's just this. <laughs> That's it. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, I mean, like the basic shape is there. This is probably what their logo will be in 10 years. Thank you so much for watching. And let me know how you think I did in the comments. Today, my husband's going to be giving me the names of famous logos, and I'm going to draw them from memory. The breeze. Okay, this is one of those Mandela effect ones. People think it's called E E Z E, but really it's just E Z E. Also, this one's blue, if I think, if I remember right. I feel like the F is kind of like, I don't know, something's telling me it's in a circle. I feel like it should have some kind of like breeze in it. Okay, I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. It's actually really, really close. Wait, that is really good. I, I was know. actually shocked. I kind of just put that breeze in there to be fun. I know, you said the circle <laughs> thing, and then I was like, uh-huh. Okay. Scrub Daddy. Okay, I'm gonna go with their logo is just a Scrub Daddy, I guess, which is a circle with like kind of, what's that one Simpson hair? Bart. Isn't the mouth meant for cleaning out spoons? And I feel like the logo itself is kind of like maybe a dark, blue okay you know i'm just gonna do that okay the colors are right i'm gonna call that a win it's like a c you know maybe a 75 to see <laughs> ben and jerry's Ooh. so it's just black and white i feel like it's lowercase but kind of like a serif like block letters almost i'm gonna say it has an ampersand ampersand something like this but then it's also kind of like playful okay i don't think it's like fully right but i'm gonna say this <laughs> oh, it's not even lowercase at all. You got ampersand. I got ampersand. Amp that one looks ampersand. a little more fancy than mine. And it's on the curve. Last one of the day. And then it's your turn. Betty Crocker. I feel like it's a spoon. A red spoon. Unless that's a fully different brand. But we're going to go with a red spoon. <laughs> I have no idea what the font is. I feel like it goes like all the way across. Okay, that's what I'm going with. <laughs> It's all in the spoon. <laughs> yep. And the font is, of course, cursive. Foiled again. <laughs> Today, I'm going to be giving my husband the name of famous logos, and he's going to try to draw them from memory. I'm going to start out a little bit easy. We're going to do FedEx. It's orange and purple. So I think it's like a big F. Travis is also a little new to the Procreate game, too. So it's not going to be pretty. Maybe <laughs> the F and the E are orange, and the Ed and the X are purple. No. And maybe the X is really big too. I feel like there might be some other corporate -y shapes going on, but I don't remember. I don't know. So I'm gonna say this. Oh. <laughs> I mean, they're swapped, but the yeah. colors are pretty spot on. You forgot the arrow though, in the E and the X. That's the corporate. Bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> Coca-Cola. Okay. She is a very frivolous font. <laughs> so it's like a cherry red. It's a thick cursive. Like, ooh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Some more curlies. Okay. Uh, the one C is being frivolous down. Mm -hmm. And the other C is down. extra frivolous on the top. I like yours though. The Burger King logo. I feel like it's brown bubble letters. I think they're stacked. 
But burger is so much longer of a word than king. Is it burger king? Then I think there's a bun. We gotta put some sesame seeds on it. And maybe there's like a green layer for the lettuce. I'm gonna be that. Oh, so not brown. You just decided to go very detailed. Or sesame seeds. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna do NBC. Is NBC the peacock one? Not telling you. I think that there's a black, okay. I think it's block letters. And then I think that there's a rainbow bun. I think it's in the ballpark. Uh, okay, so I did a lot of unnecessary things. But I mean, it was ballparking. I feel like yours was giving those hand turkeys I used to make. That's what it is. Well, <laughs> okay, well, how do you think you did overall? I'm proud of myself. That's good. Yeah. All right, well, thank you, Travis, for joining me. And let us know how you think he did in the comments. Whichever cartoon character this wheel lands on, I'm going to draw it from memory. What's it going to be? Shrek! Oh my gosh, okay, let's go. Okay, so I feel like he is bald and has a pretty round, but mostly human face and features. But instead of ears, he has these kind of like antenna type of ears. And then if I remember right, I feel like he has kind of a big mouth with big kind of rounded teeth. I made the head shape a little less round and it is terrifying. Now I'm gonna do the outfit, which he's pretty big and he definitely is wearing some sort of like vest. And I definitely need to give him a belly. Now when it comes to pants and shoes, I'm really blanking, but I think he's wearing like some kind of belt with maybe just thick pants, I don't know. Okay, he's way scarier than the movie. Now I need to color him in, so I'm gonna do the green for the skin. I feel like the vest and the pants and the belt are brown. Maybe I'll make this a little darker. And the shirt is like an off-white. Okay, here's my final one, and here it is compared to the real one. It's definitely got a lot of the right elements going on, and I feel like the nose and the outfit is almost fully right, but mine is just God awful terrifying. <laughs> Let me know how you think I did in the comments. Whichever cartoon character this wheel lands on, I'm gonna draw it from memory. Okay, what's it gonna be? <gasps> Mr. Krabs, okay, let's go. Okay, so the first thing I wanna draw is the body, which I feel like is also connected to the head. And his eyes kind of come out of it like this. And I'm pretty sure he has eyelids on the top. I remember his nose being like, kind of like that. And I feel like his mouth is just kind of like, open with his teeth showing. Okay, next I'm gonna draw his pants, which I feel like are kind of like high waters. And then a little collared shirt. I'm pretty sure his legs are just kind of like tiny little stubs, but his arms, he has big meaty claws. What did you say, punk? Big meaty claws! Now all that's left is to color him in. I feel like the pants are dark blue and then the shirt is a lighter blue. So here's mine all complete and here it is next to the real Mr. Krabs. I definitely think that I got the majority of it right. I forgot the belt and I forgot the little eyelashes, but let me know how you think I did in the comments. Whichever cartoon character this wheel lands on, I'm gonna draw it from memory. Okay, what's it gonna be? <gasps> Pikachu, awesome, okay, let's go. Okay, so he has two pretty tall pointy ears. And I'm pretty sure they're kind of cut off at the top. And I want to say he has kind of a round, like mouse-like face with a cute little smile, something like that. Maybe like oval eyes. And then I know he has little tiny cheeks. I feel like he has tiny little stubby arms and a cute little almost like bean body with little feet sticking out. And he has almost like a lightning bolt big tail like this that has a little like stripe right here. Now I just need to color it all in mostly yellow with little red accents. And here is my finished Pikachu versus the actual Pikachu. Honestly, not bad. It's way better than I thought I would do, but definitely the real one is cuter. Let me know how you think I did in the comments.